This is a video on how to tie a, your necktie in a double Windsor knot. I'm going to start out by reversing this video so that it's as if you're looking in a mirror because that's the best way to see it. I assume you're going to be watching yourself in a mirror and that's the way you should learn it. First step in tying the tie is to take the wide piece and to move it down to your inseam. You want that point to be at your inseam. You need this length from here to here to be consistent, otherwise you're going to end up retying and retying and retying your tie to try to get the length right. So, from here to here, consistent. Next, you're going to move the big piece in front of the small piece, like that. Now let me move closer so you can see what I'm doing. You want to cross it between your top button and your next button. Again, this is for consistency. If you tie it in other locations, your necktie will change in length. Okay, so now you've got it crossed over. What I'm going to do next is I'm going to take the big end and I'm going to push it up through the neck hole like here from behind. So I'm going to take the big piece, push it up through there. That's it. Now I'm going to take the big piece again and I'm going to cross it behind, behind the small piece. So I'm just going to push it behind the small piece like that. Next step is to take the big piece. We're always working with the big piece and I'm going to tuck it down inside the neck hole. Like that. So now this is our knot and we have to make it beautiful. To make it beautiful, we're going to put a cover on it. We're going to take the big part of the tie and we're just going to cross it over the knot like that. Now I'm going to take the big piece again and I'm going to push it back through the neck hole from below. like that. And now the final thing is I need to open the cover enough to put the big piece down through there, to tuck the big piece down inside there. So I open the cover, poke in the big piece, and then I just move it around until it's beautiful. I can make it wider and narrower. I can shift this piece up and down. Uh, I can curl this part around. Now I use the small piece to run the knot up against my neck. Put my collar in position. Make some final adjustments. Set everything just right. And there you have your double Windsor knot for your necktie, the quick and easy way.